Hello and welcome to Sound Insight. Today I'll show you the couple and preserve of Vienna Ensemble Pro. First of all, I uploaded a standalone instance of Vienna Ensemble Pro server and named it ePiano. You can see nothing has been inserted. Let's do it now. I choose the FM8. Now I open Vendo, connect it, and now I save it. It's very important that you can see that the function decouple has not been activated. So in a few seconds you can see what it means. I save it and now I close this one and I delete this instance. Okay. Now I open it again. And as you can see, this instance has been recreated and connected. Okay, so let's do another version. Now I activate the couple Save it, close this one, and now let's delete this instance too. I open it again, so for the first look you don't see any change, but now Noendo just wanted to connect to this instance, ePiano. So it couldn't find the right instance. So it just created the instance, but empty. There's no FM8. So it's very useful because when you got a lot of templates with 600 or more tracks, you don't want all the slaves loading in the samples because you want to save time. So when you work with templates, it's very important that you activate decouple or decouple or. Now let's see what preserve means. Add another instance. So let's do this one. Drum. And then here I add something too. I've made again. And here I insert battery. So now we got two instances, drums and a piano. And preserve is activated. Now I deactivate this one. You can see it here and here. Okay, so what's going on when I use decouple on this one? Now I close this project at Cubase or Noendo. And you can see this instance has been deleted. Now I reopen it. And you can see that this one has been recreated. But let's deactivate the couple. Where is it? In here. And do it again. When I open it now, we got the FM8 and here the battery and FM8. 
So it can be useful when you load in a few additional tricks to your template, but just want to use them at this only project. That's it. Have fun with it and see you at the next time.